Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm a museum ambassador from the ASU Art Museum. In this video, I'll be talking about the seven elements of art. Line is the edge of a form or shape. It can be thick, thin, squiggly, and straight. An example of how line can be applied is a zentangle. Check out our zentangle activity for how to make one. Space is the area around and between objects. It can be 2D, 3D, negative, and positive. Negative space refers to the background, such as the white space surrounding the black circle in the image. Positive space refers to the main object, such as the white square shown in the image. Shapes are made when lines join to create a closed area. They can be both geometric and organic. Some examples of geometric shapes are squares, circles, triangles, and rectangles. Form refers to the 3D representation of a 2D shape. For example, the 3D representation of a square is a cube, and a circle would become a sphere. Color is creative when light reflects from a surface. It has three properties, hue, intensity, and value. Hue is the name of a color, for example, red, yellow, or blue. Value we will get to in a second. Intensity refers to the saturation or brightness of a color. In art, color is important when creating something called color harmony. Color harmony is a simple technique for combining colors. Some example harmonies are complementary, analogous, triad, and split complementary. Value refers to the lightness or darkness of a color, or, in other words, the shadows and shades from light to dark. We visually process values based on how much light there is. Feel free to check out our value scale activity and our still life drawing activity for a better understanding of value. Texture is the appearance or feel of a surface and can be natural or man-made. Texture in 2D art, like drawings or paintings, in 3D art, such as sculpture and pottery, can have both implied texture and physical texture. Here are some examples of texture. Please share your thoughts of this video with us and make sure to check out our Elements of Art activities. Thank you for watching and have a great day.